It's okay. So this is a question I, I thought of originally when I was. I interviewed Alex Brown last week, the founder of the Beard Club, and he was talking about oh. his. Yeah, he's a he's an absolute thug, uh, smart guy, great great facial hair, fits right in with the with the group. Um, <laughs> but uh, he, yeah, he was he was talking about the sort of psychology that underlies his that that particular group of men, and it was sort of it ended up being about like togetherness and self care. You know, this idea of like you're worth taking man, care that of that community that you're building, man. Yeah, it's and so talk a little bit about what's underneath your community. Obviously, people want they like the brand, they want to win these trucks, but like, what's what's the layer underneath that? Is it still just that? Is it part of being a tribe? No, it is. There, there definitely is. There's a community with it. I don't think people really realize in the niche that we're in with diesel trucks. Um, that's like these guys' lives. Like whatever your hobby is, may it, it be it crochet, whatever. I don't care. Um, these guys' hobbies are their truck. Yeah, cricket. You're a fantastic cricket player, right? Um, yeah. Uh, so that whatever it is, um, these guys' hobby is diesel trucks. They're like they want to be a part of a community that that have the same interest that they do, and all they care about is their truck, uh, and that's all they want to hear about, and that's who they want to make friends with, and that's why they support our brand because if they're out walking the streets and somebody sees their diesel power truck shirt. Um, it's an easy conversation starter. They love that. It's just part of being that community. Right. And it's, yeah, it's going to be an extreme amount of status. If you, if you pull up to, you know, uh, in, in one of those trucks at the amount of people probably within their communities that'll recognize that they like, I can't imagine the status boost you get in that situation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that they live for that. Right. And, and everybody has their own thing that they, that they do. Our people are diesel trucks, so they'll pull up in their diesel truck. They live and die. I mean, most of the time, these diesel trucks probably cost more than their house. Um, so they're wearing diesel shirts, diesel hats. I mean, whatever, whatever works. They just want to be a part of a community, a clan. Uh, and yeah. ours just happens to be about diesel trucks. I've I've seen in some of your um, some of your gear on the store, you do a Supreme collab. Uh, or you, you diesel AF or something like that. You got to consider like a, a, a European like diesel brand, like like the European exactly. like Berlin Clubber. See if you can do like a cross audience with yours. It might work. Right, right. Is We're actually working on that now. I'll show you some of the stuff. Uh, Good. We actually we have a we have a, a manufacturer overseas who wants to do European soccer league shirts with the diesel stuff on them. So working on it. It's just slow. amazing. Diesel goes worldwide. I love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. um, So let's talk. Let's get back to ECML Asia here. So, uh, you know, after you blew everyone away in in Barcelona, I'm like, I got to get them back. Got to bring them out to Bangkok um, and uh, and get you on stage out there as well. So talk a little bit about what I know. It's it's early yet. You probably have to fine tune exactly what you're going to be saying. But let's talk a little bit about what you're going to be talking about in Bangkok, what people will get.